Hello, Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is going to be a bonus Thunderdome December reading for y'all. Taurus, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. We're going to be doing a Thunderdome. So that's two readings, right? It's going to be for you and a person you deal with, or maybe a person involved with you in some way or fashion. Maybe you're fish. We don't know. Well, never know. It's all up to you, right? Now, if this resonates with you, cool beans. If not, no big deal. You just boop your nose, and away it goes, because there's no reason to worry about shit that um, doesn't revolve around you. Isn't it terrible that I have to make disclaimers just so people understand shit? But it's whatever, because sometimes people don't get explained things. Sometimes we have to let people know, right? So, anyway, oh, I say naughty words, so if you don't like that, I'm sorry. Um, I might not be the person for ya. you. Might want to find somebody else, because I'm probably going to keep saying fuck a lot, and there's not, there's not really much anybody can do about that. You know, like, not even me, unless I'm around my parents, and that's a completely different story, because my dad will smack the shit out of me. Anyway, Taurus, or group one Taurus and Crosswatcher alike. The energy is the four of pentacles trying to be secure and shit, but the situation right here calls for the knight of wands. Leo Sag Aries, someone just ready in. Could be a booty man. He's coming in. Just gallantly fight for that booty. Could be also somebody screaming in your face for no reason, just to get a fight started. Wants and wishes is a risk that's not worth taking. It's gonna fail, right? And the obstacle and challenges, pretending to be nice when you really don't want to be with the Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, right? The fears and rejections. Page of Cups, upright. She's reverse. Hmm. We got a book. What might that book say? Uh, someone's holding back instead of sharing equally. And this is causing someone to realize they're nothing but furniture while everyone gets to play games on them. And they want to be their own individual, right? They want to fill that void. But this requires them to leave some shit behind, especially a third party or some addiction or something that keeps them from actually looking at the problem and solving it, right? And this requires playing plenty and plenty of mind games to get a victory here. Or just to drive people away, one of the two. Lots of risk in that. How this shit starts, how it'll end... Five of Pentacles reverse. When to come back in from the cold with the beginning theme being the Emperor. Could be Aries. Squashing that devil. Unfairly, though, because the devil was just minding his own business, being like, what the fuck, dude? I just got here. I just wanted to go get ice cream from Ben and Jerry's. Like, shit. Well, not Ben and Jerry's. How about Dunkin' Donuts or Baskin Robbins? I'm not sure where my husband went to, and that's unfortunate. Oh well. Maybe he went to go get pizza or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, but yeah, like, group one. Hmm. Group one, it seems like this um, Knight of Wands went to take a risk and it didn't work out for them. And now they're sitting there like, will you please let me back in? I'm sorry. Well, they're just saying that, I don't know. But they seem pretty desperate. At least to me, they do, anyway. Um, there is some security issues. And it feels like that clock should be over and done with. But this also requires them to um, pretend a little bit, which is an obstacle. But it's almost like a fear of attachment, too. That's almost the wrong deck. My bad. Mm. Let's see. This four of uh, pentacles up here. Someone feels like they're waiting for nothing. It's like, I'm trying to keep this shit secure and it's for nothing. It's a bad investment, right? And you might be correct in that. It might be justified in your assessments. Because it's making you feel trapped as shit, group one. Down below in the situation with this knight of wands, right? 
No good social skills whatsoever. Like, he probably comes off rude, too. And this might be a habit. This might be a habit with him, right? And it's got you feeling like, oh my god. And you just turn around so you don't have to witness the stupidity or whatever that this person causes you to have. Like, you know. Like, this person could just be doing something that they normally do at home, and then, like, they do it out in public, and it's just like, oh my god, I can't believe you just farted that loud. Right there in front of a kid's face. I'm like, what are you doing? You know? Like, you kind of go like that. Wants and wishes. Seven of swords. Oh, well, that might be a whole. Yes, it is. The risk that wasn't worth taking was made in impatience. Now they're expecting somebody else to come save them, even though there's danger in that themselves. You know, maybe it was a bad investment somewhere, but I don't think so. It's something else. It's like someone got impatient, now they're stuck, and they're expecting somebody else to come, but there's the bird right there just being like, Kah! And it's just like, if I go out there to help that person, I might get fucked. You know, they need to face whatever devil is in front of them. It could be Capricorn, also Leo. That they're afraid of. Like, they're afraid, but they need to stand up to that person. Obstacles and challenges with the Queen of Cups. She's reversed and pretending. And that's not good. That That's making a bad situation worse. It's actually feeding into the uh, tit for tat with the devil right here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn for sure. Causing... And this person might be trying to look like a martyr, group one. You got four, but I'll give it to you. All because they idolize this person, yet they still dream of, like, something new. Mmm, that dream. Page of Cups. Once again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The fear of rejection. If you offer your true, intimate feelings, yes, there might be a good investment in the home. But people are going to be sour with their feelings. And everyone's just going to avoid this shit because it's already well known. It's like the tower could strike and everyone's just like, oh yeah, that happens like every day. It's okay, he just has a meltdown every day. No worries, just ignore it, you know. The situation down here, how it starts, how it'll end, what brings the full cycle to this circle. Heartbreak with this five of pentacles reverse. Someone comes, wants to come back in from the cold. They're heartbroken. They're sad. They have nowhere else to go, I feel like. And they're wondering where their person is. Once again, they're expecting somebody to come for them, right? What's under this emperor as the ending theme? Someone who's comfortable as a hobo thinks that they're stomping out the deep end. And they are king of the world. This is just like control. Like, this is a defense mechanism almost. It's like, someone is still left out in the cold. But they're comfortable out there, even though they do want to come back in. But they're too into their own shit to actually do so. There is no death here. Definitely waiting for nothing. And this probably makes you not want to be so gentle, a group one. Could be an air sign in Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Down low in the situation, someone just wants to let go of these burdens. Just take a nap for a second, just a little break. Just so they can collect themselves and keep the cycle going if need be until it finally ends. And the wants and wishes. There needs to be delegation after conflict. People actually need to talk and have a discussion. But they're still suspicious about opening up, you know? Like, there are still things that are left unburied. Especially how someone treats somebody like they could crush them. Uh, definitely needs to be some, like, self-analyzation in here in order to figure out what it is that they're trying to manifest in the world. Because this lack of communication is what's making somebody feel like they have to hang tight to their shit to begin with. Let's continue down below. 
with the obstacle and challenges. Someone isn't letting somebody rest and they keep bringing a flower they're allergic to to make them sneeze and shit just to fuck with them. That way they don't notice when they're trying to dig in their chest and take some stuff out when they're supposed to be packing up. Or it's keeping them from packing their shit up. Their valuables, right? This tactic will not work, though. Hmm. Fears and rejections, right? Someone wants to choke the fucking lion out, just be like, come here! You know, just a little bit, right? But they need to realize that this feeling is just insignificant. It needs to pass. We got the Queen of Cups right here. You know, she's looking at it be like, you know what, this is just a tiny fish. I, I, I really shouldn't be thinking that, you know, like, choking a fucking animal is going to, like, fix my problem, you know? how this shit starts and how it'll end. Someone just can't let go of some shit, right? Group one. The Emperor Reverse, once again. Dude, like, chill. For real. I, I really feel like someone thinks that someone else belongs to them. Even though they're the ones being left out in the cold. Group one. I don't know what else to say. But that's what I've gotten for you so far. And we need to move on to... Group two. So, group two. Let's see what's on your side of the table. What do you have to say about all the things that are being said about you? Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. So let's see. Da -da 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 -da. All right, group two. Let's see what we got for you. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? Ready to go into battle, or at least looks like it. But then down in the situation below, we got the Queen of Wands, Sag, Aries, Leo. Usually my Sagittarius card. Some I'm Sag rising. The Wands and Wishes is the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. Being a martyr, wasting time. Was that in... Yeah, that was in group ones, yeah. Down below in the obstacle and challenge is the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, that could be you, of course. I'm trying to slowly but surely... Give an offer. Unfortunately, the fear and rejection is trying to get away from this shit. Just taking your cup and run, right? And down below and how this shit starts, how it will end. The devil reverse. The devil's trying to sneak away. Could be Capricorn, right? Page of Pentacles reverse. Didn't the group one happen too? I can't remember. Mm. I'm getting tired and sleepy and such. Anyway. Bad manners, not really trying to be social, not really trying to hone skills, all that jazz and such, right? Group two, there's like this want and need to write and argue, but it's like you really want to offer something, when in reality you should just be getting away from this shit, right? We got the Queen of Wands here, it just doesn't look satisfied, and she's just in straight bitch mode. I thought that was my husband, but no, that's the wind. Oh, that is my husband. She's in straight bitch mode, uh, but she's still trying to look like a martyr while trying to get away with stuff. And like, these two could actually be the same because they're the same colors, right? Right. So it's Knight of Swords. Trying to be sneaky with some shit didn't happen. No, no, no. Um, when it came to an old, old. Relationship or marriage of swords or some sort of connection for once like a door was open From a long time ago. I tried to go there, but you know they got watched there, too Try to sneak away to this old door this old familiar place and they're still being like spied on Down below in the situation is the queen of wands Reverse she's bitchy because she's all in her feels You know her spouse or counterpart, the King of Wands, like he's sitting there watching, he's not doing anything about the snakes, just watching them. And it all feels like nothing but a dream that's out there. 
Let's see. Wants and wishes. The hanged man reverse is staying stagnant. Because you want to, to worship the person you want, right? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mmm. Someone doesn't offer some good love, though, group two. They're offering that good loving. Yeah. Someone can worship someone who just doesn't do dick for them, and they're waiting for something that's never going to be brought. Yeah. Staying stagnant because it's just because the person's there. The obstacle and challenge with the Knight of Pentacles is slow, but sure moving an offer towards this person, this Queen of Wands. This might be an endless cycle where it's just repeated over and over again until some disaster strikes that changes things. And someone's got to get in their autonomy and take control of this shit. Or something might happen to that emperor who popped up before. Like someone might see his true colors or something. Fears and rejections. Walking away, letting this person wonder where the fuck he is. It's like, you had to go get cigarettes five fucking hours ago and it's dark now. You know. But it's like, if, if this is the Taurus is doing this, it's just like, yeah, you know what? I'm done. I'm gonna just leave. You know? And then Becky's gonna be sitting here all bored. Or Taurus, you could be bored. But it could be the water sign, too. You'll have her, right? Right. How the shit starts, how it'll end, so it brings full cycle to the circle. The devil reverse. Someone's sneaking away with some shit. They had to choose between one Betty or another, right? Because they didn't want to provide for both, I feel like. They didn't want to deal with both. Or they were just being a big ass liar, trying to look good, and they might got caught up in their shit, right? Yet, still refusing to, un to understand that they might be the cause of their own damn problems. Mm. Feeling abandoned like a child and not knowing how to take it are the themes. Yeah, totally not knowing how to take it because it just didn't work out in your favor. The person that who you're expecting to wait on you and is no longer waiting. Group two. Hmm, let's see. The situation up here. Someone's happy all fine by them damn selves. They are not worried about commitment in this. And they do not want to hear anything that is being said. That could be you, Taurus, or Crosswatcher. Whichever one. Right. Down in the situation below, someone just pile drives their feelings because they fucked it up that bad. You know. Someone managed to uh, get into that chest and take whatever. One more on that one. And that's what brought on a separation right here between two people who embraced so lovingly. Oof. Up in the wants and wishes, someone's gonna fuck up on their tricks. They're just gonna trip over that sphinx and break their horse's ankles. You know. And then you look deep inside about what the fuck they did. Because if it wasn't for their bullshit, the horse wouldn't have been put down. Someone's gonna have a hard, hard look at this. Try to figure out why this bitch is happy without the commitment. Mind you, that's a young empress, so that could also be you right there as well, Taurus. Down below in the obstacle and challenge, there's a lot of injustice going on here. A lot of it. And, and that injustice involved leaving somebody out to drown, right? Up in the fears and rejections. Someone had to play some head games to drive some motherfuckers away. You're like, go away, motherfuckers. Uh, and they can't let this go, it seems like. It's like, if you if you, if you you manage to get these people away from you, it's just going to be like, shit. They're still mad. Shit. They're still holding the grudge. They can't let the shit go. Right? Last card. How that shit starts and how it will end. Uh, Taurus, you could still be a bit jake as fuck actually sabotaging shit so nobody wants nothing from you. But there is a potential for you to be a little bit overboard with it. Like, you could be, like, watch your temper because you might be a dick. You know? 
you have the potential of being too much and trying to crush somebody's soul for no reason. You gotta be gentle with people. Even if they come riding in on their horse drunk as fuck and the horse dragging them through town. So, that's what I got for you. Uh, Taurus and Cross Watchers, like. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. And got to see you, but I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I love y'all's faces. I hope this helps, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.